Hi and welcome to this little brief screencast about FoxyCart's JSONP functionality. We're just going to show two examples of FoxyCart stores in the wild that have used JSONP um, to do some really interesting things. The first is various.co.uk. It's a, it's a record label. Um, the site has very interesting um, navigation. It's keyboard based. This is not FoxyCart. This is just something that they've done. But what they do use FoxyCart for is adding products to the cart. So you can see up here that it says bag, zero items, zero pounds. And down here, you can see the prices and pluses. So if we go ahead and click a plus, this makes the JSONP call, adds the item to the cart, and then on the callback, you'll see this flashes up here, and it says view bag or check out once there's something in the cart. We can try this again. We can uh, do the whole bundle, and you'll see now we can view bag. This loads the Foxy cart powered iframe cart, HTML, but if you just use this functionality down here, you'll see that it makes a JSONP call, bypasses the cart, and just does it all with JavaScript, and you can do whatever you want. For our next example, we'll go with something significantly more advanced, which is Modern Nash's custom bookmarklet. Modern Nash is a company based in Nashville, but there's no IKEA in Nashville, so Modern Nash will go to the IKEA in Atlanta pick up furniture, bring it back to you, op optionally assemble it for you. The tricky thing here is that the products that you purchase when you buy through Modern Nash are actually from IKEA's website. So they've done a bookmarklet that adds a cart functionality to IKEA's website that uses FoxyCart's JSONP functionality in a quite interesting way. I already have the bookmarklet installed. So if I were to go up to IKEA and I wanted this desk, I'd click the bookmarklet. This is some custom JavaScript that they've done, but you'll see it loads all using JSONP. It loads the cart here with the subtotal, the shipping cost, the sales tax. I already added something to the cart in a previous example. So we can go ahead, drag and drop that to the cart. This is again fu custom functionality. You can say, yeah, we want the assembly. Now it communicates with FoxyCart and adds this pro product to the cart using JSONP. Now we're on IKEA.com, but we're adding a product to the cart using JavaScript, which you can do cross-domain with JSONP. We can change the quantity here. Again, that makes a JSONP call back to FoxyCart. When FoxyCart responds, then the loading goes away, and it shows what's going on. We can view order. This again loads from FoxyCart, shows you what's in the cart. And if you go and check out, now this loads your FoxyCart powered checkout. So that's a very advanced example of JSONP. Many people just uh, will use it for something more like what various.co.uk did. But it allows a lot of flexibility, a lot of power, and um, it's really one of our favorite things. So we hope you enjoyed this little screencast, and we hope you have lots of fun with our JSONP functionality. Let us know how it goes.